All right, it's time for March favorites. And they're lifestyle favorites, and they're kind of weird this month. This is not leftovers. I know it looks gross, but it's just some raw honey. I made a video a few weeks back about a natural skincare routine that I was doing a review of, and uh, I'll put a link to it right here if you guys wanna see. This is my current skincare routine that I'm using, and it has become my favorite thing ever. The only downside is your face, if you miss a spot, it's like a little sticky later, but I feel like it has made my skin, I have had no acne since I started using this. It's been a few weeks now, and I just love the way that it feels. I feel like it's made my skin really soft, and it's moisturized, uh, especially living in a really dry state like Nevada. I love it, and I absolutely recommend it to anybody. I mean, obviously everyone has different skin types, so it might not work for you the way that it's working for me, but I'm really enjoying it. I have honey all over my fingers. My second favorite from this month is actually makeup, which I've never even done a makeup video before. But I don't know how to use makeup properly. Uh, I just kind of throw it on my face and see if it looks good. And I watch videos on YouTube on how to use makeup and stuff. And I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup either. So this is a e.l.f. brand eyeliner, and it cost me like $2, which is totally what sold me on it. And it is, what I didn't even realize when I bought it is it is two-sided. I really bought it for this side, which is just the eyeliner. I mostly wear like eyeliner and mascara. That's what I go through the most. And I just needed some black eyeliner, so I bought this, but it's two-sided. So you've got your eyeliner and this kind of silvery eyeshadow stuff, which I really like. I feel like it makes my eyes bright and they kind of look sparkly almost. And it, again, it was only $2, so I really dig this. I've been using it every single day. I try to buy other cheap brands of makeup and they all have failed me miserably. They either didn't last very long or they were like those really hard crayons that don't write and just hurt your face and they poke you in the eye and stuff. So I'm really impressed with this, especially for the price. Oh, it's, let's see, e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick, black and smoke. My third favorite is this thing. It is a Cuisinart Smart Stick, and I got this for Christmas. I already showed you this in my Christmas, what I got for Christmas video, but I just started using it, even though I've had it for quite a while. I just started using it this month to make smoothies, and I did not clean the inside of this. I love it because it's so simple to use. It's easy to clean, even though I just missed a spot. It's smaller than a blender, and you can do separate drinks. Like, I'll make a smoothie for myself, and then I'll make one for Kevin and it can have different ingredients in it and it's not a big deal. And you can make smoothies with it, but you can also make soup and stuff like that. You just put all the ingredients into a giant pot and then blend it all with this. And it works really well. I've heard horror stories about the blade because it's so sharp. Works really well, but it's a little dangerous. Don't stick your fingers in there. But so far, I've just been making delicious smoothies all the time after my workouts and I love this thing. I think for a Cuisinart product, it's very inexpensive. I think it's like $30 and you'll get a ton of use out of it. Kevin's bringing me my fourth favorite because I have to be very careful with it. Can you see it? This is my fourth favorite thing. It is a little miniature greenhouse. We don't have the top on it right now, but we are growing vegetables. We have squash, zucchini, tomatoes, beans, all types of stuff. And it had this plastic casing over it. I think you can get it at like Home Depot. And it created like a little greenhouse and it would keep moisture in there. And these plants grew so fast and so healthy and we're going to plant them in the vegetable garden soon. So I'm really, I've loved watching these things grow. It's really exciting for me. And probably in these upcoming months, my favorite will be the vegetables that we're eating from it. My fifth favorite thing this month was the movie Grand Budapest Hotel that I just recently went to go watch. It is a Wes Anderson movie. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with Wes Anderson, but if not, you should look him up. He, Kevin and I were just talking about him and he is a master storyteller and he creates universes for his movies. Uh, all of the production design and all the colors and costumes and settings are so specific and detailed and so colorful. This movie, Grand Budapest Hotel, takes place in a somewhere in Eastern Europe in a grand hotel that was once really popular but then after the war becomes kind of dilapidated and old and uh, very few guests stay there, but it's the whole history of the hotel and the original concierge of it and his character played by Ra Rafe Fiennes, that name has been very difficult for us to say, Rafe Fiennes, 
Uh, he is so good in that movie. He's this really eccentric, kind of flamboyant uh, concierge. The whole movie spans over generations of time, and it's really good, super funny. Adrian Brody's in it, uh, Willem Dafoe. Although it's really funny, it's also very touching and moving by the end. Uh, I was definitely almost in tears. The movie's about life and growth and the cycles of life. So whether you see it for the beautiful cinematography and costumes and settings or for the amazing story, you should definitely go check it out. I think it might be my favorite Wes Anderson movie so far. So my last favorite this month is actually a song. When I run, which I run probably every other day, uh, my playlist on my iPod is very different than what I might listen to when I'm just hanging out or driving or at home. So I listen to a lot of hip hop, rap, and like pop when I'm running because the beat helps me keep a good pace. And the song that I've been listening to the most this month is Iggy Azalea's Fancy. Iggy, Iggy Azalea is an Australian rapper and she, I just think she's really cool. Uh, she has awesome style. Uh, I love her music videos. They're usually kind of uh, satirical. Like she did one that was, uh, she made a music video, I think it was Murder Business, that song. Uh, and it was kind of influenced, I think, by Honey Boo Boo and like beauty pageants, but it was kind of mocking it a little bit, but also just having fun with it. And this recent music video for Fancy is inspired by the movie Clueless, which I used to love a lot, which I still love a lot. So if you like running to pop and rap music, then you should definitely check this song out. Also check out the music video. It's really good, pretty priceless. And I think that's all my favorites from this month. Let me know in the comment section if any of my favorites are also one of your favorites. Or let me know if you had a favorite this month that I need to check out, that I missed. And maybe it'll become my favorite next month. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you next time.